In international news, global pressure against Israel is increasing today after the UN's top court ordered the country to immediately halt its military offensive in the southern Gazan city of Rafah. However, what was not included in the order was a call for a ceasefire. Israel's war cabinet insists its plan inside Rafah will not change, which includes a pledge to save the remaining hostages. More than a million Palestinians have sought refuge in Rafah since the war began. The UN ruling is a blow to Israel's international standing, but the court doesn't have a way to enforce its orders. Today, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was asked about the ruling. We need an immediate ceasefire. Uh, Hamas needs to lay down its arms, release all hostages, but there also must be no more military operations in Rafah by Israel, and certainly uh, no, no escalation of military operations in Rafah. We need to be getting humanitarian aid into Gaza at much greater amounts than are right now, and the ICJ's uh, proposals are uh, binding, uh, and we expect everyone uh, to follow them as a matter of international law. Canada. According to a U.S. official, an attempt to broker a deal for a ceasefire and hostage release happened yesterday in Paris, or excuse me, today in Paris, with top brass of the CIA meeting with the leaders of Israel and Qatar.